So now in this video, we will try to understand how we can insert values in a table with different different way. So first thing, we'll go with normal. Then we try how we can do that multiple values also how we can insert and all those other things. Okay. So first thing I will go and try to see how many records in one of the table where we'll try to insert. Select star form. okay table emp so we don't have any record in this one and we have one more table so we try to select we have tbl underscore name and we can try to select that so this also we can see that data type is int and where care of 10 and in table emp also we have int and name as varchar of 50 but both the data type are same so we can ideally insert from this table as well so that we'll see later but for first thing now what i'm going to do i will go and try to do that simple insert okay so first thing to insert any value command is that insert into insert into table name so now i can put that table emp okay and then i will put that values and here i can go ahead and try to put four comma and since its second one is variable string type so i can put that d okay and now we'll try to insert that okay so we can see one row got inserted. So now if I go and try to execute this one, we can see one row is there, okay? So first way to insert this one, we can use in this way and then we can do that insert, okay? So I will comment this. Now, second way to insert is, what I can do? First thing, I, I wanted to insert a specific to that column. So how we can do? So now insert into, EMP and now here we can pass that column name. Okay, so which all column value we wanted to insert? So right now, since I have two column, I passed both the column name and then I can pass that values. Okay, and after this, I can pass that value in that same way. Whatever column first one I given, it will go to this one. So what I can do? I can keep in this way. Okay name comma id so now first one i am passing that name then i need to pass in single quotation and name as i will pass as e then comma i already inserted four i will insert five okay then i can go ahead and try to execute this one okay so one row inserted now if i go and try to execute this one we can see that one more row inserted so first way if you wanted to pass values for all those columns, then we need to pass how that columns are defined, means ID, name, and in that respective way. But if we are not sure, then what we can do, we can pass that column name here, and then we can pass that value in the same way. So, okay. So this is that second way. Now, if I wanted to insert multiple values, then what we need to do? So other way that insert into, that table in piece and values now i will pass that six comma and i will pass now f okay now i have more columns then i will put that comma and then i will pass seven comma okay and then i will go ahead and execute this one so we can see two row got affected and i will comment this as well and now if i go ahead and I try to execute this one we can see now four five and six and seven just now whatever we inserted it's got inserted successfully okay so till now we got that three way different way 
how we can insert that value. Now, if I need to insert value from this table, okay. So I wanted to insert that value from this table to our this table, okay. Then how we can do that? So to do that, I need to put again insert into okay table EMP and then select start from okay. So in this way, if I execute both together, okay. So you can see that in TBL name, we have three rows. So if I execute both together, then it's going to insert all three. If I wanted to put some condition, then I can put that where, and then I can pass that name. Okay, so suppose I can pass that where call two equals to A. So now I'm passing condition where column two equals to A, those only need to insert it from this table so now if you can see till sorry if we can see till now we have four rows idea start with four five six and seven and we don't have a now i am going to insert this one this two if i go ahead and execute it so one row got affected now if we go and execute this one we can see one got inserted okay and a but now same thing if i can copy one more time I will come. So now I don't want where not equals to A. Okay. And or we can remove this where clause also. But if I remove this, we can just try to see only select a statement. So two rows are coming. So if I go ahead and try to execute this two. Okay. So two rows inserted. Now if I go and execute, we can see that now two and three also came B and C. So in this way, we can insert in multiple ways all those values in our table. So I hope you understand this one. Okay. Thank you.